Hello, my name is Magnus Rembergit. Welcome to my second screencast about Instabuster. Instabuster is a lightable plugin for easily running JavaScript tests using Buster.js. In this screencast, I thought I'd run you through some of the newest features, which is a dashboard, a simple auto test feature, and some snippets to save you some typing along the way. Alright. So let's get started. First thing you need, if you remember from the last screencast, is a Buster configuration file. I've created a small snippet for that. So you just give it a name, and if you're happy with the defaults, you can just complete the snippet by pressing Enter. However, I need a small addition for my assertions. So and just go ahead and add that. Voila, we're good to go. Okay, let's write a test. There's a small template for that as well. And math test. We'll write a simple function, a simple test. Right. Two numbers. Equals should give us four, right? Okay, so let's turn on live mode, which I'm really just working foot. When I say that, it runs complaints that math is not defined. Okay, we'll need to deal with that. Let's create a small over-engineered math component. Like so. And create function, which I don't really need in this case. Alright. And finally, our add function. A plus B. Is it still running? Yeah, it's complaining. No wonder it still doesn't know what math is. So let's help it along the way. And voila! We're up and running. So, nothing new from the last time there. The new thing is there's a Buster dashboard, which you can see here in the background. So whenever I run a test, that one kicks off. Not very useful when running one test, but say your project has multiple tests. And in my case, in this sample project, I do have multiple tests. So I can start the command for running all tests, and I map that to a shortcut. I haven't selected which project I want to run all tests for, so it pops up with a dialog. And you see here on the right hand corner the project settings that I've selected the Buster uh, Instabuster extended project. So if I now run all the tests, you will see that it ran the test with a progress bar. Right. Okay, and the final thing that I thought I'd show you is the auto test feature, which you can turn on with a shortcut or a command. And the cool thing about that is that it checks for changes, or rather, when you save any file that matches the Buster configuration. So if I save this file, it will actually run all the tests. And if it, for some reason I change the implementation. So when it fails, it obviously reports that. So all in all, this is quite powerful running with the Buster dashboard and the auto test feature. Alright, I think that pretty much concludes what I was planning to show you. In this screencast. In a future screencast I might show you the 
CoffeeScript add-on which allows you to run tests and implementation using CoffeeScript. Alright, thanks for your time and I hope you'll give Unstabuster a go!